And after you leave a like, remember to smash the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet. And remember to hit the notification bell so every time I post a video, you can know right away. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. What's up, my YouTube friends, viewers, subscribers, everybody? Welcome back to another banger video. And you guys already know what time it is. It's time to be motivated. Let's get it. Stop explaining your vision to others. And the reason I say this is. People spend so much time of explaining their visions and their potential and what God has shown them to somebody else. Why? You don't need their approval. Why do you think they don't understand? How are you going to go to somebody and tell them you had a dream last night that you can do this? Bro, people nowadays is the main reason why no one is going anywhere. Because you're walking and you're trying to explain to them what your vision is and what you think you can do in life. And then you have dream crushers, dream crushers out there, sorry, coming to tell you, oh, you can't do this. Sometimes even your own family member or even your own parents are your dream crushers because they're going to look at themselves and they're going to say, oh, I can't do that. So why you think you can do it? Because I've heard that a lot of time. People always like, if you go to somebody and you ask them, you can ask them anything. The first thing they're going to do is see if they themselves can do it before they answer. So if you go to a guy that can't ride a bicycle and you ask him, can you ride a bicycle or can you teach me? He's going to say no because he can't do it. Or can you go to a, a guy that have 10 grand in his account? And, and say, oh, uh, can you show me or can you teach me how to make 100 grand? He can't because he don't know. So he's, he's going to look to himself and say, I only got 10 grand. I don't even know how to make 100 grand. What do you think you can make 100 grand? And then you're going to say, I got a dream last night or I got a vision or my potential. And then they're going to say, ha, 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 no, 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 you can't do that. Stop explaining your vision to other people. There's a reason why God show you and not others. You know why? Because if you show somebody else and it's up to them to come and say it to you, you probably would not get that message. That's why he gave you directly so you know what it should be. But you're busy walking around and trying to explain your vision to everybody else. And they themselves are like, why do you think you can be a YouTuber? I work a, I work a regular job. You can't do that. And then you have doubts within yourself because you're busy trying to explain. Let me tell you something. Never explain what God has shown you to somebody else. And like I've said, he's shown, he's shown you for a reason. He didn't leave it for your mom to come and tell you or your dad to come and tell you. Because trust me. People can see your potential, but if you yourselves don't know, they will try to crush it before you get a chance to know. That's why most times people try to hold you back so you can't move forward. Or if you're trying to move forward, you feel like there's a bunch of dead weight because they know. And the difference with those people and me is <laughs> I know what I can do. I know my potential. I know what should be because I know who I really am as a person. A lot of people that are even older than me still have no idea of what's going on or what they're doing or who they really are. Still figuring it out. And you know, I used to be that one guy that tried to explain my visions to people. And they used to tell me the same thing. Oh, you can't do it. Oh, you can't. Why do you think you can do that? Because people judge based off of their own intelligence, their own uh, physical skills, everything. If you go up to a guy and say, you know, I can run faster than you. If he's fast, he's going to take your word for it. He's going to race you. But if he's slow, he's going to probably be, be like, he's probably going to be like, ha, I ain't going to race you. Why do you think you can run faster than me? You know what I mean? Stop explaining your visions to people. They're the same ones holding you back. 
Sometimes it's best to follow through with your vision and then you sit, sit down. And then when people ask you, you say, oh, I know it should be because I saw it five years ago. Or I saw it 10 years ago. Like some people get dreams and some get vision. Some, when you get uh, dreams and you live to see it come through, those are visions of what should be or what actually happened. I'm that type of guy. I see things before it happens. So I'm, I, I'm telling you. It makes no sense. People won't understand what you are trying to say. Especially if you got a big dream. Makes no sense for you to try to explain it to a guy that's normal. Because he won't understand. This is like trying to convince a broke guy to go get a job. No, it won't work. They won't understand. And I found out that when, like, when people try to explain their visions or what they can do or explain, try to explain like their intelligence or their skills, they get shunned out by others. And then it's like you got doubts and negativity within yourself and then you sit down and then you're living less than what you should be all because you make somebody else told you that you can't do it. Stop explaining your visions to people. Trust me, they won't understand. They won't know what you're talking about. And if it sounds... If it sounds too good to be true, they're going to start with their negative talk. Oh, you can't do that. Why do you think you can do it? Oh, I'm 40 and you're 20. Why? I'm 20 years older than you. If I couldn't do it throughout my whole life, why do you think you can do it? But people are driven by intelligence, skills, all those kind of stuff. Talent, people are driven in different ways. And then if you're naturally gifted, like naturally talented, and you can do stuff and make stuff happen, why are you going to explain that to a normal guy? He won't understand. It's better if you try to explain uh, your visions to someone that's in the same field as you or someone that is talented or creative as you, then that would make more sense. Because if you go up to a, a guy that's like talented and like dancing, and you can dance and you go up to him, you're gonna feel a connection. But if you go up to a guy, a regular guy, what do you think is gonna happen? He's gonna tell you, no, you can't do it. Or if you wanna have uh, X amount of followers on social media, you can't ask a person that's not famous on social media for advice. And then you're gonna go, to, you're gonna go explain to them, oh, but I saw this, or I can do this, or I can make this happen. They're going to say, nope, you can't do it. You know why? Because they don't think they can do it. Like I said, people say stuff and do stuff based off of themselves. If they can't do it, they're going to say it to you that you can't do it. And like I said, stop explaining your visions to people. They won't understand. They will never understand. You can try to tell them the same thing every day, every day. They still won't understand. Because to them, they can't do it. They can't make it happen. You can't go to a broke guy and ask him how you can save 10 grand. And even if you're like, oh, but I had a dream last night that I had 10 grand. He's going to say, why do you think you can save 10 grand? Especially if a person is bad with money or bad with saving their money, managing their money, I should say. You can't ask them. You can't say, oh, uh, I got a dream last night that I had this much money. They're going to say, what? Bro, that's only a dream. Forget that. You're broke and I'm broke. So you're going to sit down and be like, shit. Why do you think that they don't understand you? You ever sat down for once and wonder why they don't understand you or why it seems like every time you try to say something, you can't seem to, they can't understand. You can't seem to get it across how you want to get it across because you're trying to explain your vision to people. And then to them, it's like a brick wall. They will never understand what you're talking about. If you got big dreams and then you have seen what should be, stop explaining. Stop right now. People will never understand you. They would never understand why you think how you think. And they will never understand why you're aiming for what you're going after. They will never understand. Even if there's a visual that you're working with where you can see progress with, with what you're doing. And then you had a multiple dreams that you had a house or you have a car. And then you're still on the same path. That's God showing you what should be. That's a vision. 
But if then you go tell somebody else, oh, you know, I had a dream that's this or I had a dream that's that, they're going to be like, oh, it's just a dream because they're not spiritual like you. They won't understand. Stop wasting your time. Whether it's your friend or family or... Listen to me. Stop right now. Do it on your own. Figure it out on your own. If they don't believe in you, they can't help you. If you got big dreams, it's up to you to figure it out. God show you the vision for a reason. Which means you should use your intelligence to figure out why is it that he showed you what he showed you. You should figure out what it is that you need to get done and aim towards it. If you want to be a social media influencer and then you've seen that you're on a stage or something, he's showing you what is supposed to be within three years or five years where you should be if you keep pushing forward. But then you keep on explaining to, to other people and then they're crushing your dreams and then you're sitting down in a box, can't move forward. And then you're sitting down beating yourself up because you know and you believe but you can't explain it how you saw it. That's just how it is. You've seen it for a reason. And like I let me say this one more time. If he, if he had shown other people and they don't want you to be better than them, like that vision that you got, imagine if one of your family or friends got that vision. You think they're going to say, oh, you know, I had a dream that this happened. Nope. You will never get that message. That's why God showed you. So you can see what it is or what it should be. But it's up to you. To figure it out what it is to get it done. Stop explaining your visions to people. They will never understand. Growing up, people will never understand me. Because I've always been in a higher state of mind than people that say it made just me. And I never know why. They never understand me. And I never care. That's just how it is. You try to explain something to somebody. Then they try to crush your dreams. You cut them off and you leave them. Trust me, makes no sense. You're wasting your time. The time that you're taking explaining and trying to prove them that what you said is correct, it's better you use your moves to make it correct. If you tell somebody you're going to be famous on social media and they have like zero followers, they're going to have no faith in you. But you see, when you make it happen, that's when they're going to believe in you because it's real. People believe what they see because what they see is real. So if you have had a vision that's like not, it's not come to pass as yet, no one is going to believe in you because it hasn't happened as yet. But until it happened, everybody's going to believe in you. And some people are even going to say, oh, I know you had the potential, but never said it once before you made it happen. Trust me, a lot of people can see you walking around and be like, you know, this person is going to be, this person is going to be somebody one day, but. They would never say it to you. Because people want you to be the best that you can, but not better than them. Understand? So when you are better than them, that's where all the problem comes in. And that's one of the reasons why you feel like you're not going anywhere. Because you're trying to explain, hoping people will believe in you, but they don't. Because they're judging everything that you're saying based off their own ability. Like, stop. That's sometimes, like, I wouldn't say sometimes, majority of the time, that's the reason why you're not moving forward and it's affecting you. Because you want somebody to say, oh, you can do it or you can make it happen. But sometimes people can't do it. So they're going to say to you, oh, you can't do it. Then they're not going to believe in you. They have no faith in you. And then you're, like, stuck one place, not moving forward because you want everybody to say you can do it understand like that's majority of the reasons why people are not moving forward nowadays because they were they, they spend so much time worrying about what everybody else have to say they invest so much time in worrying about what everybody have to say instead of pushing forward all that time and energy you spend in like 
waiting for people to tell you if you can do it or not. You could have literally used all, all that time and invest that time within yourself and push forward and show them that you can do it. But you're busy explaining your vision to people that have no idea of what you're saying or in the same uh, industry as you. They're going to tell you they can't do it. That you can't do it, sorry. They're not lying to you. It's just they themselves can't do it. So they're, go they're going to tell you you can't do it. So, like, literally, it's on you. You are the one that was explaining your vision of people. Then when you didn't hear anything, that you found out that they don't believe in you, they're telling you, you you can't do it, you can't make it happen, then you're stuck. It's all on you. Everything has been on you. And then you sit down and then you start blaming everybody else. Oh, they don't believe in me. That's why I never did it. You have to do it first before they believe in you, my friend. That's how it works. You have to do it first before they believe in you. You have to do it first before they have faith in you. You have to do it first before they know you can actually do it. You can't have nothing and say you can't do it. You have to have a million dollars in order to show people that you know how to make a million dollars and you're a millionaire. You can't be a broke guy and be like, oh, I know how to make a million dollars. Then why don't you have it? People believe what they see because what they see is what is real. So you never made a step forward because you're worried about what everybody is saying. You saw the vision, not them. Remember that. But you're worried about what they're saying. They didn't see what you see. What you see and what you know, they have no idea. They, are, they literally have no idea. So you can't explain your vision to people. Because they won't know what to say to you. That's why most times they tell you no or you can't do it. Because they themselves never see it before. And if they're not as spiritual as you, then they're going to say, oh, it's just a dream. Let it go. You can't make it happen. Then you have doubts all crumbled up with inside you. And then you're going to say, ah, especially if you're easily influenced, then you're going to say, ah, maybe it's just a dream. It's not just a dream. There's a reason why you saw it. Don't let, the, don't, don't, don't let them confuse you or corrupt your mind trying to tell you you can't do it. You see it for a reason. If you see it, then you make it happen. No one is going to believe in you until you make it happen. No one is going to have faith in you until you make it happen. That's how the world works. You notice people tend to draw into those that's already arrived, not the ones on the way. Like you have to keep on pushing forward until you have arrived before people acknowledge you. Nobody will ever acknowledge the one that have 200 followers. But they always see the one that have 1 million followers. They always see the one that have 100,000 followers. So if somebody even say, let's say you have 500 followers and somebody have 10 grand followers. That person with that 10 grand followers is more acknowledged more than you. That's just how it is. People don't care about those that's on the way. You have to keep forging ahead until you make it happen. That's when they're going to be like, oh, I know you can do it. Oh, I know you had the potential. But they will never see it. They will never, ever, ever see it. They won't even mention it to somebody else hoping that they, like, they will come and say it to you. Never. Never. They only say it just because there's a little light on you. You're pushing forward. You're, you're making it happen. Then they have all this nonsense to say. Stop listening to people. Focus on you and push forward. Stop explaining your videos to people. Like I've said, I'm trying to stay on that same topic. Because that's a headline. Stop explain, explaining your visions to people. They would never, ever, ever understand. And who care if they understand? They didn't see what you saw. Stop beating yourself up and start making it happen. If you want them to believe in you, then make it happen. Respect is earned, not given. You can't expect to be respected if you never make nothing happen. That's not how this world works, my friend. Until you make it happen, that's when they're going to show you the respect. Because it has to be earned. No one is going to sit down and be like, oh, that one, that, that's right there. I don't know them, but I believe in them. Nope. They're busy focused on everybody else that's already arrived that's making stuff happen. 
That's how the world works. People are drawn to those that's already arrived. But you never started because you're listening to everybody else when you were explaining your vision to them. So you never make that step forward. You could have been halfway, if not quarter way, but you never started because of what everybody else is saying. And in your head, it's normal because you're mentally, you're weak. So you don't know how to make stuff happen because people have to acknowledge you or say, oh, you can do it before you can actually make the step forward. Who cares about what they think? For sure not me. Don't worry about what nobody is saying. Focus on you. Make it happen. You want them to believe in you? Prove them wrong. Until you make it happen, they won't care. Stop explaining your vision to people. They will never, ever, ever understand. You have said the same thing for over 10 times now, and they still don't understand. Those co-workers you work with, you tell them that you can be something great, and they don't care because they're still stuck working that same job for the last 15 years. So why do you think you can come there and work three to five years and then make your dream happen? They're going to crush your dreams just so you can stay there with them. Don't listen to nobody. Stop explaining your vision to people. Don't, they will never understand and don't care if they understand. Figure it out and make it happen. Trust me. I hope you guys learned something from me today. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, stop explaining your visions to people. I hope you learned something. I hope you figure out what you need to do and push forward. So this is it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. I will be back doing more stuff. You go have a great day. I'm out. And don't forget to follow me on social media. I post daily on them.